Greetings from the Moby Factory. I have a lot of questions shot at me here. You know, how in the heck do I get me a header or a logo or something at the top of these mobile sites that I'm building? Well, there's so many different ways. I mean, uh, right now I could sit here and, uh, and and think of 20 off the top of my head. There's so many different software programs, techniques, and ways. I'll show you a very simple one if you're using a Windows machine. I'm sorry, Mac users. I um, can't help you on that, but uh, Mac is so simple to use when it comes to graphics. I'm sure most of you have already got that figured out. So on the Windows machine, there are a couple of things you can do. You'll notice I have pulled up here just a, this is just a template that I had. And uh, what I want to do is show you how to grab this header area here and reduce it so you could use it for the top of a mobile site. So the first thing I would do is I want to capture the screen. Now I'm using uh, Windows 7. Yeah, that's what I'm using on this machine. <laughs> I've got a few sitting around here and I have to make sure. But uh, the best of my knowledge, this hasn't uh, really changed since uh, way back uh, early Windows. So what the first thing I would do if I want to grab the screen is I will go ahead and I will do a control on my keyboard print screen it's normally up towards the top on the uh, other side of the uh, F keys there okay so control print screen nothing really happens that you can see okay so and on your Windows machine if you go to the start menu accessories and open paint you should be able to do that pretty simple uh, that's a standard program that comes with all Windows machines that I know of okay so I've opened it up and you're gonna have a, a blank area like this first thing I do is, is I go to file excuse me I go to edit that's not quite fitting in there let's go ahead and reduce that just a little bit for you okay I go to edit I go to paste and you'll notice that we have something there now so what we'll do is We've got a, a a lot of. We'll go ahead and expand this a little bit here. We've got a lot of information on there right now. So the first thing we want to do is, is is get our area here and and trim it down. So we'll go up here and do the select box here with a little dash around it and position best you can. So let's start on this side. Up here is at the top. And you'll notice I'm getting right at the edge there and hold down my left button and start dragging over okay and you'll see that uh, just about got it there you see the little let's go up a little bit kind of touchy you see that I've got it outlined okay so I let off of my left mouse button and I'm gonna go to image I'm gonna go to crop and voila okay now we've got that so we've reduced we've got rid of all the junk and we've got our little header up here so at this point it's too big to use for a mobile device and you know this at this point like i said it's too big and i'll point out while i'm at this step now you could have captured this off of your website or whatever you know a little top logo or whatever you know if you're trying to uh to brand it with your name Excuse me, I've got a little uh, problem with the throat problem here today. I'm having a hard time keeping my throat clear. Bear with me, please. Again, you could you could capture your logo off your website or, or whatever you have on the screen. I'm just giving you an example of how to capture an image. This one is a rather big, so the first thing we want to do is go over and resize it. We'll do that by going to the image. Let me get this back over here. I'm sorry. So you can see what I'm doing. Go to image, resize. Okay. Now, here is the whole part. I don't really, I'm not crazy about the percentage here, but you know, we're working with a free program here. There's all kinds of other programs that you can uh, search and use, but uh, we're using this for now. So what we'll do is, is let's reduce this. And let's go with uh 25 percent 25 do okay and that's a little small that's that's a little small so let's go back up here and do an undo 
and we'll go back and do it again. Let's go with uh, 35 and 35. Still not the greatest, but we've got a usable image here. What we'll do now is we will we'll save this to our hard drive, simply going over and going to File. And I'm sorry, this going out of my screen here, go to a Save As. Go ahead and pull this over for you. We can get that in there. Okay, Save As. And you'll have it popped up. And I'm going to just where it, uh, it lands there is where I'm going to uh, save it in this. You want to, on your machine, save it to a folder that you can find very easy. And we'll just call it Logo for the heck of it here. And we do a save. Let's go find it. Okay, open up the folder here where I saved it at. And you'll notice I've got my logo there. It's right here. Let's go ahead and I've already opened it up here into a program called InfoView. And uh, actually, you can uh, use InfoView to do a lot of the work that we're doing here with paint. You can search that up on the internet if you like. So here is my logo that I can use on the top of my mobile sites. You'll notice that the width here is 321 by 72. So that was a pretty good guesstimate when I got the percentage there. When I did the 35%, 35%, I ended up with a width of 321. And you want to stay right around the 320 area for handheld devices. So it will uh, it'll look pretty good on those. Uh, you start getting into the larger screens. Uh, They'll just have some white area like this, you know, and it, it works great like that. So there you go. There is how to capture your logo off your website or off of uh, anything that you can see on the screen and make it and resize it. And I will point out one other thing before I leave here is there is a uh, replacement for the Windows Paint program. It's, it's called uh, GetPaint.net. So you can uh, replace it and have a really, really nice little editing program here free if you'll go to getpaint.net. If you, if you search for paint.net on uh, one of the search engines like Google, you'll find it also. It's a great replacement program for the standard Windows editor. All right, I hope this helps you, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.